art is the reshaping of reality by man to present it in an understandable way. As the artist recreates the world around him, it is shaped by how he sees it and what he believes in. The Indian artist did not attempt to depict only the material reality around him. He wished to share the complete experience of the moment, not just the photographic presentation of the shapes around him. Beauty for the Indian artist has been a reflection of the glory of God. In fact, for the ancient artist, the experience of beauty, the ecstasy on seeing nature or art which is truly beautiful, has been considered as akin to Brahmanand or the final bliss. Join us on this journey into the heart of the Indian tradition of painting. Come with us to the gorge of the Vaghora River where Ajanta was created, to the courts of the Mughals and the Deccani Sultans. Journey with us through the deserts of Rajasthan and the icy lands of Ladakh and Lahore Smithy. In the verdant south and in the gentle hills of the north, experience the compassionate view of life that is enshrined in Indian painting. In ancient India, since art ancient was an times, integral part of life, the plains of northern India have been rich in the development It was deeply associated with philosophy and religion. Over 2,000 artistic representation ago, was essential Lord for prayer and meditation. His message of compassion. The worshipper was supposed to imbibe the qualities the of the deity art of Buddhism by looking upon the true representation the of, Asia. of the aspects personified in that deity. In the first in millennium, fact, the philosophy the of aesthetics Empire, had a fundamental here and important place the classic art in the religious of life of India. The aesthetic this was among experience the most thoughtful was believed and to be a king of the world to Brahmanand and its final bliss of enlightened future art in India. One of the most fruitful and enjoyable studies is that of the movement of ideas the across the barriers of, of natural boundaries first and over the divisions of mountains the and great oceans. Himalayas are crossed Cultural and artistic India. ideas have a life of their own. Since and their ready acceptance by the peoples of different regions highlights the universal of nature of human experience and expression. Who have come from other parts of Asia and even from in the Mediterranean. In ancient times, the philosophical ideas of Hinduism this has and Buddhism continuous spread from India to, the to practically every corner of Asia of other parts of the world. As art was an integral part of life and, and religion, art was created, the concepts of Indian in the art spread of the far of and wide cultures, along with in the philosophy. Plains. Ideals were laid down for living life in, in the, the medieval world period and beyond. Foreign invasions and numerous raids These were conveyed and reiterated in constantly of most through of paintings the grand ancient and monuments sculpture. which stood in these plains. Consequently, we do not have in a large body times, of surviving India was a Euro great paintings trading nation of the early period in these By plains. the beginning of the Christian era, there was considerable maritime trade between we India have and the rest of South and of Southeast Asia and Gupta periods, which shows the highest development. This resulted in a great of spread of Indian culture, we also which have was welcomed with open arms throughout the region of around the fifth century in the Bagh caves in Madhya Pradesh. These paintings in the third century BC, sense, Emperor Ashok Chota Sangamitra unique brought Buddhism to position. Sri Lanka in the art of the world. The coming of Buddhism to Sri Lanka sense of was one of the great transforming which takes influences us away from the in the history of Asia and confusion of the material world. In centuries to come, Sri Lanka became the center of the earliest Very form of Buddhism, the known as Theravada Buddhism. In the Deccan. Have in the survived. meantime, in India, these Further paintings philosophies of Mahayana finest of and Vajrayan Buddhism from the were 2nd developed century and became popular to the 5th century AD.
They also reflect the art of the Guptas, austere and as simple. The, Bakatakas, the Theravad the patronized most of its followers were contemporary, a sense of humility and, and were simplicity. In interaction with them, as in the paintings of Bagh, we see in the paintings of Ajanta. The earliest the paintings of Sri Lanka are found in a cave art. high atop the massive Sigriya rock. The influence of this art, along with Buddhist philosophy, spread to the all fifth century of paintings of Sigriya. In their graceful lines and deeply thoughtful expressions, the Chitra Sutra of carry the forward Dharmutra the traditions of art states born at Ajanta. That paintings are meant to have. It is wonderful to see the close similarity of these viewers. paintings with the Ajanta paintings. They are paintings. meant to be made with the simple and deep understanding of life and they are supposed to convey this understanding the and the painter's that gentle comes touch with shows it us to the viewer that his eyes are filled with sympathy seeing the sublime and beauty of these paintings for humankind one can understand the force these paintings covers a balm and through their lilting grace and art remind us to the distant that there is an end of Asia. to the sorrow of the world these paintings carry forward the tradition of with the decline of the great celestial beings Empire. who carry offerings of flowers for deities forward and venerable under beings the Palas, who ruled in eastern India from the 8th to the 12th centuries AD. It was in this in period the 12th century that further developed the Chola Empire covered in both South India and parts of Sri Lanka. An integral influence on the, the great blossoming of painting. paintings seen in the Brihadishwar temple at Tanjavur, the plains of India is have nurtured some of the greatest universities in marvelous paintings in Sri Lanka. The world has known. The 12th the century, century mural paintings the at Polonaluga University portray the Buddhist Jatak tales. A stream of pilgrims These from China. These present a marvelous conference. Nepal, of the early gentle traditions Myanmar, coming from Sri Lanka, Lanka and other countries and a new sense of grandeur flowed to this which comes into painting to gain under the knowledge. imperial Pallavas and Cholas. Unfortunately, the university with its great libraries and mural paintings was destroyed in the early the traditions period. coming from India form a life what of their own of a in Sri Lanka. Painting here, shows the we see a continuation of the, of the art quality of the art which is similar to its Indian roots the many Seen in walls of this famed university and in the 11th century. Yet it is a unique and beautiful blending in of the these styles period, which makes Central this India art exposed to numerous cultural influences. The main influence was that which is often termed as the Western Indian Sri style Lanka painting. has preserved and nurtured the ancient this tradition believed to have come of making cherished paintings of Jain monks deep in the heart of Gujarat caves. came under Muslim rule. The sanctity of the secluded interiors provides an atmosphere of deep peace, in the heart of the plains, far from the clamor the of the material district world. of Uttar Pradesh, stand the Shiv and Vishnu temples, which are known as the Kacheris. The Choti Kacheri has on the ceiling the holy caves the remains at Dambula of exquisite paintings, have paintings of the from early century. times till the 18th These century. These are extremely valuable. As Here after we see the glimpses of the shared Theravada Buddhist Sat traditions Sat of art of Sri Lanka the and the countries of Southeast of Asia, the northern plains in India, the austere in form of Theravada Buddhism we see consider the art for of a the lotus sake of beauty itself and joyous flying to be a sensory in the pleasure corners. and an indulgence in their angularity Therefore, and lively movement. Theravada art conveys the religious to the messaging of Elora, in a simple and, and the Jain manuscript manner. paintings of Western India. The paintings are more two-dimensional, the countrywide convention of the further eye which protrudes beyond the line of the face is seen here. Myanmar was a great crucible of Buddhist influences the and art of India which came to it to over the centuries ground for the budding of many noteworthy empires. However, None of these was able to match the extent or scope of the great empires of earlier times. At the end of the first millennium, constant Myanmar had a deep and direct relationship to this region with the center of Buddhist of philosophy at Bodh Gaya in India. In From fact, the 16th in the 11th and 12th centuries, the, court the kings of Myanmar influence made replicas of the Mahabodhi of temples at Bodh Gaya throughout their own capital of India. Under the Mughal Emperor Akbar, 
The art of painting was revived in northern India after many centuries. Simultaneously in the 11th century, the King finest Anirudh miniatures were made of Myanmar in the court of Akbar declared Theravada the Buddhism to be him. the state religion. To proclaim his deep reverence, he made he thousands of pagodas of at Bagan for the kingdoms which were under the influence of the Mughal Empire and in constant interaction with them. Here in Bagan, literally thousands of pagodas dot the landscape, flourished in the Mughal court. representing the faith of the people. However, at Fatehpur Sikri, These have the capital them, city built by Akbar, the 11th century we have the, the remnants 18th, of mural paintings. Reflecting Pan-Asian traditions. In mural paintings, this is the earliest surviving portrait in the whole of At North the beginning India. of the second millennium, Bagan became a sanctified place father. with great art. Itmad Those inspirations Naga came both from Eastern India to and from Sri Lanka. It is which like was by them jewel the heart of Theravad Buddhism and painted in Asia. Motifs. With the fall of Buddhist centers in the plains of India, scholars and artists from India took refuge in the deeply Emperor religious Jahan sanctuary Jahan of Myanmar. Jahan were deeply Here a great in confluence was created of the exquisite the case of Akbar, and refined art of the Pala Kingdom also spread and the simple reverence of Theravada Buddhism. The Bundelas, who were powerful in central India, the structures Urcha of the pagodas and the styles of the paintings have similarities with Urcha both the temples and the art of Eastern of India power. and of the Chola period it was in here South in the India. 17th century that the Jahangir Mahal was made to commemorate the visit of Emperor Jahangir. Mural paintings were made on the walls of all the palaces within the magnificent Urcha fort. The Raj Mahal was completely adorned with mural paintings. What remains of these exhibits a blend of the two most significant styles of painting in India at that time, the Mughal and the Rajput. With the monks and accompanying artists and artisans, when they, they the epic and the religious subjects come here from the ancient idiom during their visit to India. The paintings on the inner walls of these pagodas are some of the finest and gentlest paintings the expressions of the entire of Buddhist tradition. Exposure to the Mughal court has also led to a sense of courtly sophistication. The verdant Pahari Hills saw the finest continuation of the tradition of the murals in The themes are those of the life of the Buddha and the, the Jataka stories and 19th century of his paintings previous lives on the walls of the Rang Mahal in Chamba are among the best surviving examples of Pahari murals. Queen Mahamaya is seen the holding the branch of a sal tree as she gives the birth of to Lord related to those of the miniature paintings of the region. The we grace and beauty of form of the Pala paintings of Eastern India paintings. are seen these paintings in these have murals. an exuberance and a joyous sense of life. We see the elephant Nallagiri bowing down in utmost devotion to the Lord. The paintings of the Shiv Dwala temple in Chamba reveal a world of beauty. The paintings from the 16th century onwards that survive at Bagan show the transition to the styles of Theravada Buddhism. These paintings on the themes in of this Lord tradition Shiv, Art which concentrates innocence. on the presentation which of beauty is, reminiscent is considered of the to be an indulgence. The images are more two-dimensional and linear, without there the shading and volume of, expression of the earlier which is Mahayana art and communicative. Repetition is used to ingrain the religious message deep into the minds of the viewers, 
leaving no scope for ambiguity. In these later paintings of Myanmar, we find a style and conventions of painting which by then had become widespread in the Buddhist countries of Southeast Asia. By this time, the owing to foreign Punjab, invasions, the vital inspiration of Buddhist and of Hindu art from in the plains of India had died out. Many things may have changed after religious culture from India alive. We see here shades of realism seventh century. from the tradition of Mughal miniature. The seventh century and is the great time for that are this uh, region the Punjab. of Southeast Asia. The themes and the manner are Thailand. deeply rooted in the local a culture. A painting should have began at the time there when the religious alive from India. Which emerges in the best of these paintings. Murals from that early remain times, in Punjab, Thailand, also valuable, received Buddhist influences from Sri Lanka the and Myanmar that existed in Rajasthan These met Brahminical and traditions in the Pahari regions. from contact with neighboring Cambodia and also from Amritsar the culture was on a by major seafaring trade the Silk with Road, India, which connected the Trans Himalayas all the way down to Maharashtra and Kerala. The culture of Thailand developed the as a marvelous synthesis of the, Punjab of the Hindu and Buddhist influences cultures coming from many sources. Immemorial. The religion Yet, followed by the Thai people a sense of identity, is Buddhism, which is reflected and one in of the, the strongest cultural traditions is that of the Ramayana. The Tower of Baba Atal near the Golden Temple Interestingly, has a large series of 19th or the century as it is known in Thailand on the life of is not Nanak. seen as a religious legend but as a great literary epic. Thailand has had a flourishing tradition of mural paintings on Buddhist and themes and on the stories of the Ramayana. Only a band of paintings survives, depicting portraits of Sikh gurus. Other gurdwaras the in great the temple of the Emerald Buddha in Bangkok of what would have represents the happy coexistence of widespread Buddhist tradition and of Hindu tradition. The temple is dedicated to the Buddha and it has many walls which are elaborately painted with scenes from the Ramayana. The distinct style of the murals of Punjab can be seen at the Durgana Mal temple in a the busy murals of Thailand in are very stylized and These closely paintings related are with the dance themes. dramas of the land. We see in them glimpses of the lifestyle of the late 18th and 19th centuries. The costumes, crowns and jewelry are typical of Thailand. The gentle expressions and graceful gestures are deeply rooted in the tradition of compassion which is found everywhere in the best of Hindu and Buddhist art. The Kishan Temple in Kishan Kot village was one of the Gurdaspur great capitals in Southeast Asia covered in the 14th Muralis. century. This is in keeping with the ancient Indian tradition of adorning the interiors of temples with paintings. The temples or wats in Ayutthaya have some of the earliest remnants of Thai mural paintings. After the period of Ayutthaya, we see fine mural paintings at the Buddhai Sawan Chapel in Bangkok. Here, we see themes These of paintings the life depict of Lord many Krishna. scenes from the life of the Buddha. There is a and delicacy a wide of execution. Panorama of and a sense of being volume and in earthly some of these worshippers. 19th century paintings which is reminiscent of the techniques of Mughal miniatures. These paintings follow distinct styles the in the depiction body of, of different classes of figures. In Punjab, are divine, in the fort, mythological as and, and royal Rubarak. persons are depicted in the classic city of Patiala with its graceful and sinuous lines. 
The murals inside the palaces are gentle and compassionate, the traditions of Kangra and they are garbed in traditional Thai finery. In Thai mural paintings, the artist seems to have the most freedom in depicting common earthly beings. The murals we of see common Punjab men with expressions a that border world. on caricature, and the lyricism and elegance of the Kangra paintings is seen in some of these. The doors have depictions of Dwarpals or guardian deities. These are more like miniatures upon the walls and their general effect is one of decoration. In the ancient idiom, murals were made the with a deep of understanding Bali in Indonesia of the viewers distance, takes its name from a and powerful figure the in the Hindu epic the wall. Ramayan. Here, in later times, that sense appears to be lost. Since early times, Hindu and Buddhist influences came to the islands of Indonesia. When Islam gained prominence in Java and Sumatra after the 15th century, Bali became the main center of Hindu and Buddhist culture and art. The Kalinga on the coast of Orissa had a flourishing Mahabharat, trade with the, the island Quran's, of Bali and also portraits and Till today life. on the coast of Orissa, the Bali Yatra commemorates the journey to Bali in days gone by. Orissa in the eastern part we see of the in the traditions of the paintings of Bali of the rich very close reflections of, of the palm leaf manuscript illustrations the 18th of century Orissa. paintings on the walls of the Viranchi Narayan temple at Bugra are some of the finest surviving murals the paintings of, of Bali are stylized with sharply angular faces and animated gestures Enacted on the ceiling of the Kathagosh temple in Bali, we see the These story of the Ramayans of the continuation the battle between of the good and Indian evil. mural tradition. These are not like miniatures made upon the walls. The themes are from the Ramayan. Here we see when the Buddha sense of humanity silk road and India, humility, which reminds us of the Asia. finest of ancient Around the Tatanan Desert, there are a string of oases, which is the source of life in this desert. Here, is source of the we see Lord the Ram applying a pillar on Sita's forehead. And one forehead. of the most extraordinary things I've ever seen on this journey inside China is the paintings in Kutsil. Monkeys mm. sit while Lakshman and sharpens in case, an arrow. You see, of course, the image is Buddha and a with depiction of the typical Jataka stories. Both the images of the god of the Buddha and particularly the Bodhisattvas. We see the, the drama of the fight between and good and, and evil it, enacted on these like painted walls saw of the Viranchi Narayan temple. Buddhism and its art was accepted wholeheartedly all over Central Asia and China. From here the message of the Buddha travelled further to Korea and Japan. The ancient Kund or tank of Kusum Sarovar near Mathura was renovated and restored by the King of Orcha. In the far Vizindu, east of Asia, in the 17th Japan century, Japan is the most distant land which received the influences amongst of Buddhism the and Hinduism. The largest Sanskrit is the Chhatri of Raja of the Indian subcontinent. The ceiling is profusely uh, we painted with the scenes of Krishna Leela, uh, Indian ancient the life of Raja civilizations. Surajmal, because of the Buddhism arrived in Japan AD 500 uh, and uh, Japanese people able to develop ancient These Japanese civilizations through Buddhism. And colorful. So they Yet adopted they lack the sense Indian of life painting, and inner grace. Indian structures, Indian philosophies. The grand manner of the Rajputs also continues here in the royal portraits. 
and Buddhist painting is influenced the fertile from India. Of India. Maybe have when you go to the of culture. Horyuji temple, you can find out many wall paintings. The world was created here Maybe some scholar times. said these painting the painting influence from the India, especially Ajanta. Ajanta, are the best surviving representation of the glorious art which was Shinto born God in this heart is of invisible, the Indian subcontinent. But Buddhist God is visible. That's why the Buddhism come, the uh, came to this Japan. Classic art Buddhist spread to had a very big Asia, influence to the artists. Till today. Maybe artists is very uh, happy to, to get the Buddhism in Japan because they can make it. The real sculpture and the painting and everything because the God is visible. The philosophy of aesthetics, which was developed in India, has been nurtured and perfected in Japan. More than any other in the world, the culture of Japan is deeply sensitive to the beauty of everything that is around us. The effect of peace and harmonious feeling that this appreciation of beauty brings to people is best understood in Japan. The temples and the paintings of Japan are the finest remaining blossoms of a great art and philosophy which once spanned the continent of Asia. The art of Asia has been informed by a deep vision of the eternal harmony of the world. It is this vision of life which shaped the grace and the forms of the paintings of Ajanta. The art travelled with its philosophy of compassion all across Asia to create a vision that shaped the culture of a whole continent.